Lesson 21, Standard Score. Example 5. A student scored an 84 on her history exam, where the class had a mean score of 73.5 and a standard deviation of 12.9. She also scored a 3.67 on her statistics exam, where the class had a mean score of 2.91 and a standard deviation of 0 0.74. Relatively speaking, on which exam did this student have a better score? Well, in order to answer this question, we need to determine what is meant by a better examination score. In general, the higher the exam score, the better the result. So, it is assumed that the better exam score is the higher exam score. Now, since each of these exams were graded on totally different scales, we are not able to compare the scores directly in order to determine which one was the better score. Instead, what we need to do is convert each exam score to a common scale in order to fairly compare the results. The standard score is the result that allows us to do that. So the standard score needs to be calculated in order to compare the relative position of different data values. Since the data that we have is from the entire population of history exams and from the entire population of statistics exams, we will use the population version of the standard score formula, which is given by z equals x sub i minus mu sub x all divided by sigma sub x. So first, we're going to calculate her standard score on her history exam. And since this student scored an 84 on her history exam, her data value x sub i in history is equal to 84 and where the entire class had a mean score of 73.5, the mu, the population mean for the history exam, equals 73.5. And where the entire class had a standard deviation of 12.9, the population standard deviation sigma for the history class equals 12.9. Now, each of these values can be input into the standard score formula to calculate the result we want. To calculate the standard score for this student's history exam, we would go left parenthesis, 84, subtract 73.5, right parenthesis, divide by 12.9, enter. And since we need to carry two places after the decimal in our final result for standard scores, we look at the third place after the decimal, which is a three, and since three is under halfway, this result rounds down to 0 0.81, meaning that this student's standard score on the history exam was 0.81, which is 0.81 standard deviations above the mean score compared to all the other students who took that exam. Now, well, now we need to calculate the standard score for this student's score on her statistics exam. Since she scored a 3.67 on her statistics exam, her data value x sub i in statistics is 3.67. And where the entire class had a mean score of 2.91, the population mean mu for this statistics exam is equal to 2.91. And where the entire class had a standard deviation of 0 0.74, the sigma, the population standard deviation on this exam in statistics is 0 0.74. So now we could input each of these values into the standard score formula to get the standard score for her score on the statistics exam. To calculate the standard score for this student's statistics exam, we would go left parenthesis, 3.67, subtract 2.91, right parenthesis, divide by 0 0.74, enter. And since the final result for the standard score needs to be accurate to the nearest hundredth, we look to the nearest thousandth place value, which is a 7, and since 7 is over halfway, this result gets rounded up to 1.03, meaning that this student's score on her statistics exam was 1.3 standard deviations above the mean exam score for all the other students who took the exam. Well, now we can compare the standard score and statistic to the standard score in history. The standard score in statistics was 1.03, which is greater than her standard score 
in history, which was 0 0.81. Since this student's standard score for her statistics exam is higher than her standard score for her history exam, this student scored better, relatively speaking, on her statistics exam.